Hey you, what's going on guys, boy here, and today we are going to be doing a supercar tier list inside of Southwest Florida. Now we're going to be doing this tier list of every 46 cars that you can purchase right now inside of the supercar pass, well, the supercar game tab section thing. And um, yeah, today's video is just going to be me rating all of these cars. Now I'm going to go through some of them quicker than others because this video would be uh, like 30 minutes long if I didn't, so we're going to do that. But yeah, before this video starts, I'll let you guys know a few things. First things first, my name is Hypology Car Views Car Things a lot of stuff. If you guys do like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every time I upload a new video. The second thing is, I'm gonna Roblox group with the Roblox merch. If you're interested in joining at a Discord group, you can join if you want to suggest car builds, car views, car deals, or anything car related. And I got some socials you can follow, all the links are in the description below. Now, um, this tier list is made by James May. Uh, you know, because James May made the first playlist and um Shout out James May, and totally not me, because I totally didn't make this, this was James May, right? Because James May is cooler than I am, right? Because, yeah, I totally didn't spend 26 minutes cropping out every single one of these. Anyways, why don't we get into this tier list? So we have all 46 cars right here, and some of them I'm going to go through a little quicker than all of them. So the criteria I'm going to base these off of are looks, speed, and then maybe turning, if, if it's applicable. All right, I'm going to try to get these cars as fair of a rating as I can. In the last one, people started complaining that I based it off of speed, which is somewhat true. Speed is kind of the point of this game, but also the looks are too. But uh, I'll try to make this as good of a tier list as I can based off of my opinion because this is a tier list. And I have driven every single one of these cars for the most part. And uh, I've also reviewed pretty much all of these cars for the most part. So like I'm pretty experienced with these cars, so I don't know what I'm talking about hopefully. But yeah, why don't we get into this uh, what's called little review thing here. So let's start with the K uh, CTM Expo. CTM Expo is a pretty quick vehicle. It also looks pretty nice. Now this thing goes like what 260 something like that it's pretty fast i think it's an a tier vehicle though uh it's a good it's a good price it's really cheap right it just it's just really fast right and i'm pretty sure it's also a good track car i'm just gonna give this an s a tier just because of the looks actually you know what? just give it an s tier it is a pretty solid car overall it's cheap it's fast it's good turning it's good looking i'm gonna give it an s tier i'm gonna just put it I'm just put my opinion right out there um but we're gonna move on Thudge Viper CTR10. I think this is a B tier car. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'm pretty sure this car goes pretty quick if I remember. I think it goes like 220. It's also pretty good turning. It's not a bad car overall. It also looks pretty good. The uh, what's it called Dodge Viper GTS. Now I'm gonna put this in the B tier as well. It's run similar to its um, B tier buddy here. You can put the Vipers together, uh, and then we get the next Viper, the the, the SR, the regular Viper SRT, and uh, we're gonna also put that in the B tier because it's all practically around the same um they're all pretty good cars uh, i'm not gonna lie this one goes 220 i think this one goes two, almost 300 uh no not 300 two, 200 something i made a video on this and this goes pretty quick as well we might bump this one up for speed yeah but it's a b tier car it doesn't look all too good but yeah it's an all right car um and then the viper is also just kind of an all right car with speed so these three belong here this one's a little faster than the gts but i'm gonna keep it a b tier to keep it with his buddies and i think it's around about the fairest uh, evaluation of the vehicle the gt spano i'm gonna give this an a tier it's a decent looking car but it's also pretty quick so decent looks pretty quick uh, also pretty good at turning so yeah i'm gonna give that a good rating now here we are at the ford gt we're gonna give this a c tier you guys are gonna hate me for it but it's a c tier it's not very fast it's also very expensive but the looks are really nice i'm not gonna give it a d tier because it's not d tier worthy but um it isn't the greatest car overall like this isn't your value for your money if you're trying to get something like speedy or like anything else out of it it's not very good for your value in my opinion maybe a b tier it does look pretty good so we can keep that there maybe i want to move on though the 458 italia is definitely a c tier car it's not the greatest car i've ever driven the 488 pista i'm gonna give this a b tier it's a pretty good car it goes 230 it has pretty good looks it's mediocre in price i give it a decent rating the f12 the f12 is also a b tier car it's not the greatest i mean it's not like the quickest thing ever but it's also pretty nice looking uh i, I think it's a pretty nice looking car at least it's not too bad in speed i think it goes 230 maybe it's also a pretty good looking car i mean if you like really get into it maybe color it a little bit but yeah the f8 tributo i'm gonna put that there right i didn't like the car very much nor did i like the uh, sf90 stradale right because that thing was slow it looks nice we'll give it a c tier it looks nice the ferraris in this game are like literally criminally underrated with speed and power and they need to be retextured the sf90 it needs to be like 
redone with its speed. It is so slow, but it looks really nice. So I'm not going to give it a B tier because it's slow and doesn't really drive very well. So it's a C tier car in my opinion as well. Uh, we're going to speed run through some of these next ones. The 8C Competition. That's a B tier car. It's a pretty quick car. It's not the greatest. Actually, we'll put in the C tier. It's a quick car, but it's not the greatest looking car in my opinion. The 2005 Ford GT. I think this goes like 200. I think it's an all right car. It's it's a C tier though. It's not my favorite. The Portof Portofino, gonna give that a C tier. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Luf CTR3. This thing goes 240. It's weird in looks, right? But it's where to it go? It's weird in looks, but it has the speed, so we'll put it in the B tier. Um, LFA B tier car. B tier car as well. Man, everything's a B tier in this game. A lot of these cars are B tiers. Don't hate me. Hate the game, right? Oh, uh, let's see. But the B tier, because um, it's not, it's very expensive, not very quick, but it does sound very nice. It has pretty good looks. So it's not like A tier worthy because of its speed. It's not like A tier worthy because it's S tier worthy because it's price and speed combined. But yeah. <laughs> Moving on, the 570 GT. This is a B tier car as well. I mean, it's like a pretty standard McLaren. This McLaren, though, however, belongs in the. It's an, it's an S tier car. It's really nice. It drives very well. It looks very nice. It has a pretty decent speed to it. I want to put it in A because I personally love the 600 LT. I would drive that thing every day. And I think it deserves an S tier, honestly. Uh, the 650S yes, is also... Majority of these McLarens like here are like the same. I'm just going to put them in the same category. They're around the same speeds. They're not like all too crazy different. This one, this one's a little, little faster. Like, I mean, these are, these are all right cars as well. I put them all in B tier, in my opinion. The Mira DB11, nobody ever drives that thing, right? I don't think it's ever going to get anywhere, anywhere quick. And it looks meh, it's my opinion. The Acura NSX, we're going to put that in a, uh, I mean, I really, hmm, I haven't driven this thing in a while, but like, the NSX is a good looking car. I don't want to say it's quick i don't remember it going all too quick i might just put it in the do not remember driving thing because i just don't remember if it's really that worthy but if i were to put this somewhere based off of what i can recall it's probably a d to a c tier it's not the greatest thing in my opinion uh that's the f12 vantage that's also a d tier i don't know what they did with the aston martins they're just not good overall in my opinion i just don't like them Personally, the Vantage as well. We can put that in the B tier, though. The Vantage does look kind of nice. Um, let's see. BAC Mono, everyone's going to like not like me for it. But hey, it's a quick car. So is the Lathrum. They both look pretty decent, too. Right? They're also... They're not they're not the, the worst cars I've ever seen, right? They're S tiers. I'm not... I mean, like, yeah, I'm basing them off of speed and whatnot. But they also turn very well if you modify them. Like, if you don't modify them for the drag tune, you can make these really good track cars. All right, they're like very versatile. It's not like I'm rating them just off of speed because you can do a lot more with the uh, CTM, the BSC, and the Lather. They're all really, really good. You guys just have to like modify them in the right way. Uh, let's see, the Z06. The Z06 is mid, in my opinion. It's not the quickest car in the game. It's not the slowest car in the game. It's a pretty good turning car in the game. It's it's an all right car. Uh, this is an A tier. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't care what you guys say. This is an A. It's not an S because, like, it's an all right car. I mean, it goes like 240 with DRS on, 220 without DRS. It's a good turning car. It's an, it's an A tier, maybe even an S tier. If I'm, if I'm gonna be honest, maybe this goes down. Maybe, maybe the, maybe the 600 LT and maybe the the Porsche stay at an A tier. Maybe, maybe the Porsche goes to an S tier. It's like a between. If there's like a between category, these two would go between it. Uh, let's see here. Um. I mean, like, both of these are really good, though. If I'm going to be honest, both of these definitely deserve the S tier. They're really good cars. The GT2 RS is a pretty quick car. We're going to give that an A tier rating. This is also an A tier rating. The Touring is a B tier, in my opinion. The Turbo S is also, uh, I think the Turbo S is a A tier. The GT2 RS is really quick as well. Uh, oh my god, the GT3 RS is quick as well. The Porsches in this game generally are the most reliable thing you can get. Um, the GT3 RS, the 2018 one, the GT3 911, like GT3 is pretty good. The GT2 RS is pretty good. The GT2 or GT3 22. Oh my god, there's so many GT3s in this. Okay, those are all really good. The Selene S7, it's going to be an A tier car just because its looks aren't up to par with the S tier cars. However, this thing goes like 270 and it's really, really quick. Now it's turning 
regardless of what you do, probably isn't the greatest thing ever because it is the longest vehicle you can probably buy in the supercar section. Probably next to something else in here. I think this is the longest thing I can find in the, in the thing. That's what she said. Anyways, the Zembo ST1. This thing is sick. I don't, I don't, I don't want to hear it. It's an AT car. It looks really nice. It's expensive. It goes fast. It's expensive, so it's not an S tier, right? But it's, it's fast. It's, what's it called? Looks pretty nice in my opinion. It has like a little, a little aero wing. And this is a generally good overall car. I definitely like the ST1. It's not an S tier car fully in my opinion. And my headphones just turned off. But it is definitely worth the buy. Now the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTR. Definitely a B tier car as well. Or B tier car. It's not the worst thing I've ever, you know, driven. It's, it's not the quickest thing. It's a it's, it's pretty mid car. I mean, it sounds nice though. Uh, the McLaren GT. I think this is a B tier as well. It doesn't go that good. I mean, it's an alright car overall. Let's see, does this, the SL65 AMG? Uh, I don't remember driving this one. Uh, let's see, I think this is quick though. If I'm gonna put this in a rating, I think it's a B to an A. This thing is quick, it's pretty nice. Uh, this is a D tier, I don't care what you guys say. It's expensive, slow, and doesn't even turn very well. If you guys have like seen any of my videos, this is the one car I despise with a passion. It is so criminally underrated, it makes me sad. Uh, we're going to move on to the Astro. That is an A tier. I'm a, a tier. It's pretty nice. I like it. It's fast. It's, what is that? The Astro M600, for any of you wondering what that actually says. Astro M600. That thing is quick. It looks nice. And if you put the blue on it, you probably love it a lot. It's a really good car overall. Next, we have the GTR. I don't care what you guys say. It's a C tier. It's not even It's not even that quick. It's, it, it's an alright car overall. Maybe the body kit's put at a B. The body kits are really nice on this thing. I mean, the one body kit it has is pretty nice on this thing. That, like, actually look decent. But, like, overall, it it's an alright car. Like, coming from a standpoint of you driving it every day, it's a, it's a C to a B tier car. It's it's a, it's alright. It's alright. It doesn't hold up very well, but it's alright. Maybe I'll put this in B. Maybe it'll be fair. But it's, like, it's a lower tier B. If, like, a B had tiers, it'd be, like, the lowest tier of B to a mid tier of B. Anyways... Moving on, because I've just said B maybe a hundred times. The Audi R8s. I don't care what you guys say. Both of them are pretty decent. They both sound very nice. They both look very nice. They both are pretty cheap. They both go pretty fast. They both turn very well. I like them all both very well. But uh, yeah, this is my list. Now, a lot of you might hate this list. All right. But this is my opinion from driving these cars for a very long time. Played this game for over a year now. Made this video, made videos for them for over a year now. So hopefully I know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is my tier list. Maybe some of the Porsches and the A row are just slightly all right. But like, I mean, like overall, this is what I think. Now, if I were to put some of the limited time cars in here, all of them, except for a few, would probably be an S tier. The 765 LT is definitely an S tier. That thing is godlike. The NSX is probably an A tier. And Z06, Z07 package is an A tier. Let's see what else is there. There's the AMG GTR, which is probably an A tier as well um and a bunch more cars but yeah that's my tier list hopefully you guys did enjoy uh, thank you james may and totally not me for making this tier list and uh yeah i hope you guys did enjoy and if you guys want to see any other tier lists or any other videos let me know if you guys want me to start redoing some of my car reviews because i didn't really tune them because they didn't have the tuning option back then let me know in the comments below as well and i'll catch you guys in the next video good bye